generally I think some professionals are quite afraid of families' reactions and they're not really sure what's going to happen if they do bring this up. My father um, had Lewy body um, disease, uh, Lewy body dementia and Parkinson's disease. Um, my father died in January um, of this year. We looked after dad at home for eight years um, and then it became increasingly difficult. Um, his end of life experience was uh, within a care home setting. After he aspirated, um, we were asked, you know, did we want to follow the Liverpool pathway? And at that point, I didn't actually fully comprehend what that meant. And I had to ask, is my dad dying? Say those words to me. Is my dad dying? Well, we can't say that. We don't know, but it's not looking good. And one of the difficulties that people with dementia have is that they are being diagnosed much earlier in the illness. But it is a fairly terrifying diagnosis if you don't have the information about how you're going to live well and how, or how you can make the best of things. Catherine's touched on it a number of times, is it about being honest? When a person asks about end of life, they're clearly ready to hear because they possibly know that end of life is imminent. When David went in there, you know, to die, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I really didn't know. We never really um, sat and said, and should the time come, mm -hmm. end of life, what would you like or what would we, we would do? Mm -hmm. And that was never, ever spoken about. Mm -hmm. So you would have welcomed someone to prompt you to have those questions? I think so, yes. Yeah. And definitely I would have welcomed that as well. You feel so isolated. The length of the illness is probably going to be a decade or more. And some of that time they will probably not be able to make decisions for themselves. And so it's really important that these conversations around how you would like the latter part of your life occur much earlier on. Perhaps it's fear, being afraid to talk about something that you're finding difficult. I think that might be one of the key things for most professionals. If you're not comfortable with talking about death and dying and what happens afterwards, and then maybe that's what holds you back from making that easy for other people. It was one of the senior nursing staff that said, come through, let's talk through what's now going to happen. You know, what does this mean? What are the options? And I felt better about it. I felt more in control since that experience. My mum and I have talked very openly and freely about what's going to happen. Yeah. When she, she died, and I now know what my mum's wishes are. I know her funeral arrangements. I know what songs she wants. That, to me, is positive. Because we talk about it now. Mm -hmm.